Ouais. Beloved, this is our New Year's message. I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The message today is entitled, Why Are You Afraid? Beloved, the law, uh, the, our Lord Jesus Christ is asking us why we are afraid for this new year. Why we are afraid of the future why we are afraid of what is coming because he is assuring us that he is in the boots he is assuring us by this message in matthew 8 23 to 27 that he is in the boat and he is in charge amen why are you afraid? In seeking retreat, Jesus embarked on a little boat manned by his disciples. As he lay down, he fell asleep. As divine as he was, he was also human. Thank God that our Lord Jesus Christ came and dwelt amongst us. So he knows our vulnerability. He knows our fear because he's been through it and he has experienced it. He was human enough to get hungry. Our Lord was human enough to get tired. He was human enough to feel bodily pains. He was human enough to cry. He was human enough to seek guardians of his father through prayer. Whilst he slept in the boat, the wind became severe. The cloud began to assimilate. The thunder began to roll in the, in the distance. The lightnings began to write its mysterious language upon the black bosom of the cloud. As those men who were experienced and had been out on many occasions felt inadequate, inadequate this time they decided to seek divine aid. We all seek divine help when we find ourselves incapable of mining these boats, the life boats. When danger is imminent and, and have asked, Master, don't you care? Here, yeah, our Lord was fast asleep. Whilst all the storm and the wind were going, our Lord was fa fast asleep. So the disciples thought he didn't care, but he really cared. In my life, I've come face to face with problems and have asked if he cared. And beloved, I believe in your life, you have also come across difficulties and you have asked yourself if the Lord cares. But beloved, trust him because he cares. He knows our weaknesses. He knows our vulnerability. It's all written in the palm of his hands. He knows everything. I've been through the feeling of helplessness, fear, anguish. The feeling as this hapless disciples, yes, and can recognize the anguish and feel it because 
I have been there before. But fortunately for these disciples, Jesus was in within their reach. Jesus was available. Jesus turned to them and said, why are you fearful? How is it that you have no faith? I have told you that God is watching over you and have even counted the hair on your head. Why are you afraid? After the brief chastisement, Jesus got up and rebuked the winds and the seas. Jesus spoke directly to the natural order of the elements and the weather. When he did the wind, the waves and the sea, and everything became perfectly calm. The natural cosmos obeyed the voice of its creator who spoke it into existence. Yes, yes. And in John 1 verse 3, the Lord is making us aware that even the winds and the seas obey his command because he is the Lord of laws. Amen. Jesus showed that he is the Messiah in an act of God. He produced peace in the center of a storm. The disciples goes from a violent storm or tempest to calm. Yes, I pray that this should be our portion this new year. That after all the storm we've been through, after all the things we've been through in 2023, 2024 should be a calm year for us all in Jesus' name. Beloved, do not wait for things to get out of hand before you ask for divine help. When you wake up in the morning and you are breathing and you have no pains in the body and you are able to pay your bills, and put food on the table, thank the Lord. Do not wait for the storm to arise before asking for help. Beloved, some of us are afraid for political, social, or psychological thing. Some of us, we are afraid of not being able to meet our responsibilities. We have the fear of not being able to educate our children. We have the fear of the future. Beloved, I tell you that Jesus, our Lord, is in charge. Just call on him and he will answer. Take care and take care of you. He will make a way for you. He will calm the storm. Some people don't know how to trust God because they've never been in the position of desperation. But I have weathered the storm. Been through the beating rain upon high mountains and down the valleys. My life journey have somehow taught me to trust in the Lord, and so should you, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. As discouraging as the road might be, sometime, I urge you, beloved, to stay on the battlefield until the master calls us home. Beloved, when you encounter the ine inevitable storm in life, when fear overcomes you, remember Jesus, the master, is always 
available. We are never alone. We are with the Holy Spirit. That is the assurance we have in Jesus Christ, who lives in his people. It is fine to ask, what will Jesus do? But the, bet the better question is in our life. The better question in our life is, what is Jesus doing? This new year, may we continue to ask this question. What is Jesus doing in our lives? What is Jesus saying in our lives? He continues his life and ministry through each one of us and through the church collectively. Yes, that is what Jesus is doing in our lives. He is continuing the ministry through our lives. And may we believe it because when he speaks, the Lord does not go back on his word. Whatever he speaks, he will do it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this message. Beloved, let us ponder over this message that the Lord has asked us this New Year's Day. Today is the third. Let us ponder over this question. And remember that when fear overwhelms us to ask, what is the Lord doing? Because he has assured us that he's working through us collectively, all of us as Christians. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you again for everything that you have said, because we know you are a faithful God and whatever you have said, you will do it. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>